you know, every one of us comes here with some kind of inkling of government, something we read or something we heard or something we saw. And, um, you know, we all have our favorites. For those of us from Philadelphia, we like to look to Ben Franklin, who sat right there, and say one of the founding fathers of the whole shebang got started right there. Some of us find inspiration from the Founding Fathers, and one of those is my inspiration, Thomas Jefferson. Founder, University of Virginia, author, Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom, author, Declaration of Independence. And out of all those great works, out of all the profound, carved on mountainside, profound things, that Jefferson left us with, the one that sticks with me. Democracy is a joyous cacophony of discord. It must involve the public, for they are the nation. For my Democrat friends, let me appeal to you with some Tip O'Neill. The only cure for the ills of democracy is more democracy. You know, everybody likes to say this is cost saving, yet those savings are minuscule. We spend more on putting hot dog stands in state parks every summer than the savings of this. And I'll bet you a dollar to a donut that if you go home and you ask your constituents, should we reduce the size of the legislature, we're going to get the same response back from 203 diverse districts. Yes, we should, and if you follow up with a question, when should I quit, they'll look at you and go, oh no. No, 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 not you. The other guys. NIMBY, not in my backyard. We don't want to get rid of our guy, we want to get rid of the rest. They say that in 1968, when this legislature was increased, they added more members to reduce the influence of lobbyists upon the lesser legislature. They added the Senate to act as a counterbalance to this evil lobbyist influence. Has that evil influence gone away? I don't know. You know what, folks? They say we're a full-time legislature and we're too big and we're bloated and those other states are part-time. I'd be glad to work part-time. You want me to cut out working Sundays? Is that good? How about that? How about I don't have those conversations in the middle of Walmart, Saturday night at 10, which by the way was the best discussion I ever had on the minimum wage. Do you want to remove ourselves and insulate the government of this commonwealth from accountability? And if we do take that number down, that's what we're doing. You know what this is, folks? It's like that old beer commercial. It tastes great, but in the end, we're going to find out it's tremendously less filling. Now, I promised my leadership I would keep it reined in and not range far afield, but the opposition to this has sound basis. The Farm Bureau fears rural influence will be sacrificed and I feel they're correct. The League of Women Voters echoes former Speaker O'Neill saying that the only way to cure what is wrong with us is to have more of us with more eyes to see what is wrong. Mr. Speaker, I, I promised the leader here I, I would be kind. So I won't draw to anyone's attention, but to the gentleman from Delaware County, 5th of May, 2015, it is a pleasure to vote with you. Please oppose House Bill 153. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.